nothing quite like getting outside. So I thought this week I would come to you from outside and I would look at environmental artists. The main artist I want to look at is a guy called Andy Goldsworthy and he creates amazing artwork and sculptures and he puts them in the great outdoors. Sometimes they don't last very long, sometimes they do. This time of year it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather. And you can come and sit on the beach, you can draw in the sand, you can create artwork out of things that you've found. So come and join me. Find yourself a spot. Maybe it's a park, maybe it's your garden. And let's see what we can discover. Taking a walk in Hong Kong is one of the best things to do. I often take myself for a hike and then it helps clear my head. It also gives me lots of, lots of inspiration. Nature is a pretty magical thing. If you look around, you can see loads of things that could inspire you to create environmental art. There are shapes, even there are shapes in the wall here behind me. So I hope you enjoyed going out and about and I hope you get to go out and about at least a little bit, maybe to your garden, maybe outside, just to go and see what's around. But the greatest thing about this challenge is if it's raining or it's just not safe to be out, for, for whatever reason you can't get anywhere, you can find objects around the home and create art. Create ephemeral art. I love this word. This word means temporary. Here today, but gone quickly. So you got creating artwork. That won't be there forever but you can take a photo of it and then that will preserve it i've taken a few photos which i've added to the gallery down below could you please 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 again send me your beautiful work and i will share it with everybody you've been doing a great job and i love hearing from you all whether you're in hong kong or new york or france or israel or wherever it's a real treat enjoy your week